recipe is going to be my quinoa with vegetables and tofu with a sweet, creamy coconut sauce. Alright, what I have for my vegetables is all organic sweet potato, one that I just chopped up and peeled, three carrots that I peeled and chopped, three sweet peppers, this is two shallots that I just diced up. If you don't have shallots, you can use half to a quarter of an onion. Here I have two cloves of garlic that I just finely minced, about a cup of broccoli, and a cup of spinach. You're also going to need one and a half cups of coconut milk, some kind of cooking oil, I'm using canola oil, about a tablespoon of flour, three-fourths cup of quinoa, some fresh thyme, a quarter cup of sugar, for our seasoning, we have ground nutmeg, cayenne pepper, paprika, and chili powder. Obviously, salt and pepper as well. Alright, what I got here is a saucepan with about two tablespoons of oil in it. And over a medium-low heat, because you don't want to burn the garlic, you're just going to add your garlic. And you just want this to cook until you just start to smell the garlic. Just here comes aromatic. Alright, our garlic is now aromatic, and what I'm going to do is add a heaping tablespoon of flour. And with a whisk, I'm just going to mix this in. What you're doing here is just making a roux to thicken up the coconut sauce. Alright, now that our roux is formed, we're going to add our two cups of coconut milk. With a whisk, just keep whisking it around to get all the clumps of flour out. Now what I'm going to do here, since I'm using unsweetened coconut milk, is I'm going to add about a quarter cup to a half a cup of sugar, just to sweeten it up a little bit. If you're using already sweetened coconut milk or full fat coconut milk, this isn't going to be necessary. All right, now you're just going to cook your coconut sauce on a low heat until it thickens up. All right, as you can see, the sauce has thickened just a little bit so far. Now what I'm going to add to it is a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, not a lot. I'm also going to be adding a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg just to add a little bit of warmth to the sauce. And I'm also going to be adding the cayenne pepper, just to taste, just to make it a little spicy. And lastly, going to be adding in our thyme. I'm going to take the leaves from, say, say a sprig or two. We're just going to mix this in. I'm actually going to add a little bit more. And then I'm just going to continue to keep cooking this on a low heat until it's done thickening up. Alright, now in a pan on medium high heat, you want it to be a little closer on the high side. I'm just going to add about a little bit of oil and then to this. I'm going to add our sweet potatoes, and you just want to cook these until they just start cooking. The reason you want on a high heat is you want the outside of these potatoes to caramelize a little bit and get super sweet. Just keep cooking the potatoes on high heat. Uh, keep stirring them around, you don't want them to burn. Uh, these are going to take a little while to cook, that's why you want to add them in first. Alright, this has been cooking for around 5 minutes, as you can see it got a nice little brown caramelization on the outside. Now I'm going to add our carrots and our peppers. Same thing, give it a stir, let this cook for another 5-10 to 10 minutes until everything starts to cook. At this point you want to lower the heat to just a medium heat. Keep stirring and let this cook, like I said, for about 5 10 minutes. This is also where you're going to want to add your two shallots. Alright, 
Our carrots have just started to soften, so now I'm going to add our last vegetables, our broccoli, and our spinach. Don't worry, the spinach will cook down and wilt. But now to this, what I'm going to add is some salt, just a little bit. Now just kind of mix it around, let the spinach wilt down. You're going to let this cook for about another, no longer than five minutes. All right, our vegetables are done. Now what I'm just going to do is add this to the finished quinoa and mix it through in there. All right, now into the same pan, no need to add any more oil. We're just going to add our tofu. And just let that cook for a few minutes on each side. Just move the tofu around if you need to to stop it from sticking. Uh, this isn't going to take long to cook, just a few minutes on each side, five, ten minutes max, depending on how hot your pan is. All right, these have been cooking for about three minutes on each side. Uh, this is the kind of color you're going for, this nice yellow, goldeny brown color. All right, now it's time to plate this up. How I'm going to do this is so I'm just going to take some of our coconut cream sauce. I'm just going to pour that along the bottom of the plate. And then... On top of that, some of our quinoa and vegetables. And then to top it off, I'm going to add our piece of tofu.